In this video, we're gonna be doing a review on the Thor triple exhaust sound system, uh, which has recently been fitted to Rusty. Let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? Some people might want to know how the Thor sound system works. So how it works is it's off an app. So what you do is you go to your Thor app and it comes up with various different, you see those there? So it comes up with various different modes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get into the car and I'm going to pre-add one of these sounds. Let's go for a Porsche 911 Turbo. Not that we listen to exhaust noises, but let's do that for starters. So you get in the car. As soon as you put your foot on the brake, we have different noises. So if you come, come in a bit, Dad. I've got my dad uh, helping me with the recording today. So there's lots of different car sounds here. Uh, this is the Porsche Turbo one. And what the, uh, the car does is, because the amplifier from the Thor system is connected to the car, to the canvas, it knows when you're putting load with the accelerator um, and when you're releasing uh, the accelerator. So there's loads of different car noises in here, but I didn't actually buy it for the exhaust noises because I thought that's not really my cup of tea, but there are some quite cool ones in there, which I'll go through in a second. But um, so you've got all the different modes there. You can, so let me show you on the Porsche one. On the Porsche one, you can press, there's like a menu button here, and then you can change the volume, less, more, uh, the idle volume. You can also change the idle speed sound, the working cycle, and number of backfires. Obviously you need maximum number of backfires. One, two, three, if you heard that, hopefully. And then you can go back. So there's loads of different vehicles you can choose from. And then you can download a load of other ones as well. So um, there's, I've, to be honest, I've actually downloaded most of them now. Um, oh. uh, so there's stuff like, um, I don't know, rockets, rattle car, the Christmas stuff. And there's also something called a boom box. Now, as you're driving along, if you want to be extra annoying to people, you can do interesting noises like monkeys, for example. <laughs> that does sound like a very strange monkey to me. Uh, gorilla. That sounded like a gorilla on the toilet who was quite evil uh, laughing. Uh, gibbon. So that sounded a little bit more realistic. And there's some really interesting ones like negative, positive, and, and, and reactions. So things like this. Uh, there's, yeah, there's some really interesting ones here. I mean, there's positive comments. So. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Let's go. Nice. So as you can see, lots of weird and wonderful ones. Now, quite a lot of people ask me whether you could add your own songs on here. You can't actually add your own songs as far as I'm aware. Um, there is something that is on here that my uh, friend Ian has got where when you've got it on the ice car noises, it changes gear, which is something you can download. But because I'm not gonna be using the ice car noises very much, I'm just gonna stick with um, what I've got already, but it is quite good for people who do want to listen to the ice noises because as you accelerate in, for example, uh, let's just choose one. Let's choose a Ferrari 488. Ready? So when you put your foot down, it sounds like it's going to explode instead of change gears. So if you want it to be more realistic from an ice noise point of view, I would recommend downloading that uh, gear shift uh, method. I've just recently added a uh, rattle car. Although I, I was hoping it was going to sound like a diesel, but it doesn't, unfortunately. But um, if I get my dad to go to the back of the car and listen to some of the electric noises, and I'll play around the accelerator to see what you guys think. 
So first of all, this is the future car. This is, this is the transformer. So as you can tell, like as depending on how you have your foot on there, just like a car will determine the different type of noise. This game car. I quite like when you let off, it makes quite a satisfying noise, a bit like a like a dump valve or a circulating valve in a way. Reactor, this is a bit of a strange one. So we're having fun and Mike, my neighbor, really enjoys the uh, noises. Uh, can hear me come from a mile away, which I obviously turn, and that the benefit of this system is you can turn them off and not upset your neighbors. Um, UFO. So as you can tell, these do get quite loud. Uh, one of my favorites, which is Jet Fighter. Um, arcade 80 style. As you can tell, there's, there's some really weird ones here. And quite a lot of pointing and staring will be going on on uh, certain ones. But like I mentioned, there are so many different uh, noises you can get out of this there's loads of different ice noises um i mean just to give you a, a cycle through mercedes amg g63 porsche 911 turbo s bmw m3 e92 audi rs6 avant Sounds like it's only running on a certain number of cylinders, that one. Corvette, which you would have heard in my first video. This is now the RS7. Again, it sounds like it's not running on all eight cylinders. This is the Jaguar F-Pace SVR. Mercedes C63. Well, that's quite fruity, isn't it? Dodge Ram. Pickup truck, Mercedes Benz E63S. I mean, there's there's just a huge list. Lamborghini. Uh, what else we've got? BMW X5M. This one's quite good. This is a Lamborghini Aventador. Uh, M5. Nissan GTR. So I was hoping to do some drive-bys to get some more realistic sounds, but it is quite difficult and I didn't have much time. So I will I will get onto that. It's just, it's been a bit manic for me and getting charge heads content out because I've been ill, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, it's been really, really interesting um, this exhaust system because there are a few different ways you can fit this exhaust system um, and I've or Top Gear rather they they did it with the pipes going out at the bottom of the car whereas Ian my friend's one he hasn't actually got any pipes coming out the car so I think inside his car is a lot louder so if someone wanted to get that mix of outside and inside maybe one would point out with an exhaust pipe and one would stay in the car but I was hoping to be at the EV meet on Sunday, which was a great event. And if anybody wants to check out uh, what that event uh, was all about, go on to Tesla Jigsaw, Will, uh, his channel, because uh, he reported it while I was ill. So thanks, Will, for that. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I'm sure that we'll be at an EV event soon with more than one of our exhaust cars um, showing up because we've also got another friend um ryan who's got a miltech version exhaust so it'd be really good to kind of com compare and contrast them um but how am i getting on with it am i enjoying it so i am really enjoying it um i suppose the only thing that i'm not enjoying is to change the change the uh, different noises you've got to be on your phone which is obviously illegal so i don't do that obviously 
Um, so you just kind of pick your noise and kind of stick with it. And it's kind of, you know, some days it's nice to have one noise. You might get a bit bored of it and you put a different noise on or you, don't, you might just want no noise at all. And this is kind of what I really enjoy about it, actually, is the fact that it's so versatile. If you want noise, you can have it. You know, if if you uh, don't want noise, you know, or you can turn, you know, you can change it. And that's the thing with, I suppose, a petrol car is the fact that the noise is the noise. You can't get away from it. And, you know, the argument would be, oh, you know, it's a nice and noise and it's, you know, mechanical and all the rest of it. And you can hear the soul of the vehicle. But this soul thing, you know, I think I've got a bit of a uh, I've got a bit of an opinion on uh, what where this soul things come from. Right. So when a car's got soul, it sounds really romantic, doesn't it? It doesn't sound like something that would come from UK. It sounds like something would come from France or Italy, you know, zip, zip, I was going to say Zipation, Zipation or, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go too heavy on the accents here. I embarrass myself anymore. But, um, but yeah, obviously they're a, a more romantic uh, kind of culture and the fact that, you know, French and Italian cars have got a certain reputation for not actually being alive. So when they are alive, you know, it's like, oh, the soul, the soul is there. Oh, the, it's the je ne sais quoi. It's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, I can really feel the car. But in reality, it's just a load of bollocks, isn't it? You know, it's just the noise that comes out of a machine. And this is an electric car where a noise is coming out of a speaker. And there's obviously been... Well, you might not know, but if you check out my Instagram, I've had about 300,000 views nearly, I think, on a video that I put out there and about 2,000 people uh, with negative comments. Go and check it out. It's quite hilarious. Um, I think it's because most people think that I was going to do the ice noise. And I don't personally, it's not my cup of tea having ice noise on an electric car. It just doesn't float my boat. I never wanted to do that, uh, as people will know from uh, my TVR project. It's all about uh, like an amplified electric noise is what I want to do with that, depending on what it sounds like once it's up and running, uh, which I went to go and see it today and it's getting a lot closer. So there's a little update. Uh, got some pictures on Instagram. Check that out. Um, so what's going on? There's, there's loads more content coming. I'm really, really sorry. This has been a quick video today and last week there wasn't anything, but yeah, it's been illness and quite a lot of other things going on. Uh, but do not fret because there is a lot more content coming and I'm really looking forward to uh, this year because there's, there's so much going on. Uh, just an update on Rusty's suspension, the mountain pass performance, uh, suspension has been so impressive i'm going to be driving to bristol on friday and saturday this week and i can't wait because it's it's just so much smoother bearing in mind the roads in the uk are absolutely flipping awful at the moment having the comfort coilovers was a hundred percent the right decision to have anything other than comfort coilovers in the uk on any car i think is just yeah i mean it's just if you're a sucker for punishment uh, I mean, you still have to miss the massive potholes everywhere, but yeah, it, it's really, really impressive suspension. I'm booking it in soon to get the wheel alignment done and everything else, just to make sure it's as it should be, because uh, it's slightly out at the moment. Uh, what else is going on with Rusty? Um, what else is... Ah, yes, Rusty is... I'll tell you, you'll be interested in this. 118,258 miles. We're getting very, very close to the warranty. So we're going to be having a warranty video soon. Uh, just to sum up of the last 20,000 miles from the last 100,000 mile video that I did, uh, which has got a lot of views. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. So it's been a bit of a rant and a bit of an update on everything, uh, but looking forward to getting back on the content properly uh, starting next week. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.